Hi and welcome to the introduction to my psychoanalysis foundation training video diary. Um, I have signed up for another course this year. The reason for that is because my governing body recommend that uh, the year after I complete my mandatory training, it's good practice to do an additional year's training so that I've got extra support around me for my first year of practice. So that's why I've decided to do it. The training that I've chosen, I've chosen because when I went through my mental health recovery and the therapy that I had, the biggest shift that I got personally was when I had my psychoanalysis. So I thought what better thing to spend my specialism year doing than to do the thing that I took the most from. So that's why I've chosen the course. So it's half past eight on the 23rd of September 2017 and I'm going to head off to Camden any minute when I finish getting ready and um, I'm going to study with a organisation called AGIP which is the Association in Psychoanalysis something like that, something like that. I'll, I'll get back to you on what that stands for and, um, and so and so um, I wanted to I wanted to track this journey because I'm going to have to attend 10 Saturday classes workshops plus today's introduction session if you want to call it that and then I'm going to have to attend weekly psychoanalysis and I thought it might be really interesting to um to basically there's no written homework and on all of my previous courses that I've done, I've had to do a weekly written journal. So I have like um, folders full of stuff I can look back over and think, oh yeah, that's where I was then and that that's what came up then. And it was it's really interesting. It's like a keepsake. To, obviously, it was part of my course. But um, so I thought this time around, because I don't actually have to, to do any of that, it might be really nice to kind of log it in a different way and then I can share it with you. And for people that are interested in it, they can follow my journey and find out what I get up to month on month. So, um, so yeah, so like two hours to go, hour and a half to go. Um, it's going to be one of those cringy get to know each other. So, so my anxiety, I'm kind, I'm going in. I'm kind of thinking, right, I'm just gonna. This is fine. It's, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna work myself up. I'm not gonna get weirded out or anything. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna meet a group of new people but but it's going to be fine because i'm going to i'm going to use all my strategies to kind of like you know it's just another day and um and then we have to do that whole introduce the person you're sat next to thing because it came up on the timetable that that's what we're doing I'm like well right and um and then there's like some shared lunch where it's all like bring bring food and so I bought a bag load of stuff at Tesco's last night because I think I don't know what to take. Anyhow, so this is how I'm feeling before I go on my very first session and excited to I'm very intrigued as to like what we're gonna study and like what it's all gonna be like and but um and then I will update you later on and, and let you know what my first day was like. So ooh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I've remembered the name of the organisation that I'm studying with. It's called the Association of Group and Individual Psychoanalysts. We're on our way now. I say we because I've enlisted the help of my taxi driver, Lewis, because I don't really like using public transport, which is another overthrow from my anxiety issues. Um, I've sort of decided that there's going to be um, maybe in capital letters and brackets, um, a, a a goals for while I'm on this course, and that's going on that list because perhaps big, perhaps one weekend I could try getting myself there on my own using public transport. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to get the first day over and done with, and see how it goes. And we can come back to that little idea, maybe. So it's the end of a long day. I completed my introduction session today 
Um, I was a little bit nervous when I arrived at the front door because I couldn't get in, but then another lady arrived and she couldn't get in either, so that felt fine. We kind of worked out how to get in together. Um, highlights, I think, of today were my anxiety did not catch me out at all, which I was really pleased about, so I managed to contribute in the group without feeling nervous and I... Um, we had to we had to do the shared lunch thing, and everybody hang, hung back from um, walking over to the food for a good ten minutes, which was as a social experiment quite fascinating to watch. So I just kind of just chilled, and I just thought, you know, I'll eat a tiny bit. I'll try not to spill it down me. I'll try not to choke. Um, and yeah, that was fine too. Um, it was really nice to have. Um, an introduction to sort of a little bit more about what the course is going to involve and the guy that ran it was so friendly so that was brilliant um i came away feeling a little bit a little bit um uh what's the word apprehensive about the amount of structure that the organization has in place so pretty much everything has to be run past somebody before it takes place i.e if you want to change therapist part way through your training you have to get permission so there's, it's it's good because it's very very thought through and um, it's all there for kind of protection to make sure that you as a student are being looked after and the clients that you end up working with are looked after i was a little bit like flip this is is really thorough but you know that's not necessarily a bad thing so no I, ca I came out of it feeling very positive that I had made the right decision for the next step of my training and I've come home and I've read some more stuff ready for my um, first class in two weeks time um, I'm posting um, little thought-provoking bits from my reading up on my Instagram page, White Barn Therapy. So if you're interested and you want to kind of follow some of the intriguing learning that I'm doing, um, I'm sharing some of those insights and big life questions on my page so you can um, see more there. And I shall post my next video in approximately two weeks. So I just quickly watched my little video sum up of the day back and realised it cut the end off the piece of film that I did. I was just simply saying that I'm going to post again in about two weeks time when I do my first lesson. Um, note to self, tomorrow go through and empty the contents of your phone because your storage is full. Your phone has been telling you that for over a month and it's really having a negative impact on your ability to be able to film things I am exhausted and I am I am done for today but hopefully this is the start of something good